Hey everyone, follow along with me and I'll show you how I made a pair of these giant wings. I have always had a big fascination for wings and after staring at all of these beauties on Pinterest, I've decided it was finally time to make a giant pair for myself. So I came up with this drawing and transferred it onto some paper. I got a roll of 12 gauge wire from Amazon and got started. I highly suggest that you cut all of your wires first before taping them together. I'm using four main wires that go down through my handle on each section. Don't worry about shaping the wires too much at this point. You can do all of that while you tape it all together. I followed my pattern I drew pretty closely, but you don't have to. You can add or subtract as much detail as you want as you go along. That's the great thing about crafting. Nothing is ever set in stone. If you're going to make a set of wings as large as these, you will want to use enough wire detail so that the frame holds together securely in between the layers of cellophane. Once your wires are all cut, you can start taping them together. I used electrical tape because it will hold the joints together securely and I'm not worried about the black tape showing through the cellophane. Once my wing sections are done, I'm going to spray them with red and brown paint so the silver of the wire doesn't show through. Here's where you can now start shaping your wings as you add each piece together. Make sure you wrap each main wire to the handle one at a time. These wings are going to be on the heavy side, so the handles need to be sturdy. And here they are, all done. I really like the way they turned out with the red and brown paint. Next, you're going to cut two pieces of cellophane long enough to cover the whole section of the wing, except for the handle. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area on a clean surface that you don't care about when using a spray adhesive. Once the first layer is sprayed, lay your wing down on top of the cellophane and give it a press. Now add the other layer on top. Fold back each half and give it a good spray before pressing it down so it all sticks together. Repeat this for each section of your wings. Don't worry if the cellophane gets pinched or stuck to itself. You can lift it back up and reposition it. It will take a minute or two for the layers to dry so you can make changes. This is the bottom section of the wings. I used one long piece of wire that I folded in half to shape into the curly cue of the tail as well as down through the handle. Once your wing sections are all done, trim away the excess cellophane around the outside edges, leaving about a half an inch of overhang. I then used a heat gun to run along the edges, which will pull the cellophane in nice and tight to the wire. You can also use it throughout the body of the wing to shrink it in. And lastly, I used a soldering iron to burn and tatter the edges. This is where you can really add a lot of character and detail to your wings. And this is what mine looked like once they were all done. Now you're ready to wrap the handles of the top and bottom sections together. Now you're ready to make the harness. It's got a strap for around each shoulder and one that wraps around your midsection just under your bust line. I used Velcro on the ends of the strap so it can be adjustable and you can wear different types of clothing under the harness with your wings. And it has two pockets for your handles. To make this harness, you need to measure double the length of your handle plus an inch for the hem at each end. You also need to take half the circumference and add a half an inch seam allowance on each side. I'm using canvas for the inner fabric and I need an 18 by 4 inch piece of fabric. I surged off the long edges and turned under each end a half an inch twice and stitched it in place for the hem. Next, cut a piece of felt for the outside of the harness and stitch it to the canvas on all four sides. This adds some extra padding on your back for your handles. Both the felt and the straps come in many different colors, so depending on what you're wearing with your wings, you can choose any color combination that you want for your harness. And now it's time for a fitting. Fold the base in half and pin on your waist and shoulder straps like this, and have a friend help you pin down the ends of the straps around your shoulders. Your harness should fit nice and tight like this, so the wings don't fall to the left or right while you're wearing them. Now mark the placement of your straps and unpin them from the base. Mm -hmm. 
Lay your fabric flat and sew down the ends of the shoulder strap to one end of the base using a tight zigzag stitch to hold it securely in place. Next, fold the base in half with the felt towards the inside and stitch up the sides. Now turn the base right side out and sew on the waist and shoulder straps, making sure to sew through them several times so they are secure. Then sew right down the middle to make your two pockets. Lastly, you're going to turn under the ends of the waist strap and sew on a five inch piece of Velcro. Finally, it's time for a test run. I am so thrilled with the way these wings turned out. At first, they did want to fall to one side, but after a while, I got used to wearing them. And now the wings are ready to go on a photo shoot.